Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Now, in today's video, I want to talk a bit about whether you really need to exercise to lose weight. So, you know, on the topic of, you know, weight loss in general, you know, everyone thinks you need to be uh, running every day, going to the gym regularly, um, you know, just moving more, you know, it's, it's the old saying there, um, to lose weight, you need to eat less and move more, which, you know, is true. But technically what it, what it means is you need to burn more calories, basically, or you need to be in a calorie deficit. So, you know, do is it necessary to exercise? No, it's not. You know, you, you can lose weight just being in your bed 24 hours a day. You can lose weight. Um, it's not necessary to exercise. Um, obviously it helps, but it, it's very, it's, it's over exaggerated to a great degree. The amount that exercise actually has, the amount of effect, you know, that exercise has on your actual weight. Now it has a, a great effect on your long term weight, you know, for maintaining a, a healthy weight. Um, exercise, you know, it has a huge effect because a small amount of calories burned every day, you know, throughout a year is, adds up to a huge amount. Now, <clears throat> if you, if you want to lose, if you've got a specific amount of weight to lose, let's say, um, I don't know, 50 pounds or whatever, um, you know, you need to look at the deficit that you will need to lose that. So to lose a pound a week, you need a 500 calorie deficit per day, every day. Um, obviously it equals out if you have a bit more of a deficit one day and a bit less another. But it needs to be a deficit of 3,500 calories per pound that you lose. So, you know, the easiest way, obviously, is just to eat less. You know, just, just eat 500 calories less. And you, you can make that a lot easier by eating foods that fill you up more, that are, you know, lower in calories, higher in volume, you know, vegetables, fruit, um, that kind of thing. So, as far as exercise goes, um, how many calories do you burn doing an exercise? Well, obviously it depends what exercise you're doing. Um, weightlifting, for example, burns a lot less calories than, you know, cardio. You know, uh, things that make you out of breath, or, you know, like uh, running, cycling, swimming, etc. You know, exercises uh, are good for the heart and the lungs. And building, you know, overall sort of fitness. Um, weightlifting is good because what happens is when you build more muscle, the muscle requires more calories to maintain. So that helps you long term. But as far as burning calories, you know, per minute or whatever, um, running is probably one of the quickest ways. Um, really, you, you probably look, you're going to burn about 10 calories a minute or so running if you're running, you know, at a, at a pace that keeps your heart rate high. Now the amount you burn and all kind, it depends on all kinds of things. It depends upon you know if you're running uphill, um, where you're running, if you're running on on the beach or if you're running on you know a uh, flat tire mac, um, yeah, you know, or a treadmill, whatever. You know, there's loads of things that affect it to a slight degree. But really, running is probably something that'll burn the most. And there, for example, half an hour of running, um, you'll probably burn 300 calories. You know, on an average because you're not going to be at the same pace all the time, you might slow down a bit, speed up a bit, whatever, but, but on average you probably burn about 300 calories or so. Um, so, you know, you, you need to think about that in comparison to the calories in food, really, because um, if you think about, um, you know, a, a small chocolate bar or, some, or something, it's like 250, 300 calories. So, you know, you can choose to not eat a chocolate bar or you can run for half an hour um, I'd rather just not eat it. Um, obviously, you know, it's it's one of those things where, like, obviously the running is good for you, it's good for your heart, and it's good for your overall health as well. So it's always good to include some sort of cardio, whether it be just walking as well, you know, the amount of steps you do in a day and thing, that's, that's easy enough to record. Lots of, uh, you know, gadgets that will record how many steps you do in things. On your phone, you can do it as well, I think, these days. So, you know, um, walking, running, running will burn the most. Cycling um, will burn a bit lower calories. Um, the easiest way for you to see this for yourself is to go to the gym and they'll tell you how many calories you're burning. Now, it is a rough estimate, but you'll see that, you know, if you sit there cycling, you'll burn less than if you're there running on the treadmill. 
uh, swimming burns a lot of calories and swimming is is a good exercise to do if you're very overweight because obviously the water supports your weight so it takes off the pressure on your ankles and your joints and things and your knees because obviously if you are very heavy then running is, it can be a real struggle and you'll feel a lot of pain in the knees and the ankles so you know swimming it will for, for very overweight people is probably the perfect um, form of cardio really it's definitely the easiest as well as far as not as far as uh, not injuring yourself and that kind of thing um, so you know if you are you know obese morbidly obese and you know you need to do some cardio or, you know obviously walking is probably an easy one as well depending on how heavy you actually are but just increasing how much you walk with the easiest way and swimming um, you know I understand that you know when you are very overweight you're probably not going to want to go swimming um, you know in a in a pool in a gym or you know a public swimming pool or whatever so you know your option, your other option there really is probably walking but um, you know they're all you know good exercise for overall health but you know the, the point that of this video is that you know do you need to exercise no no you don't need to do any exercise whatever weight you're at you don't need to do any um, cardio exercise whatsoever or weightlifting you don't need to do any it's not necessary to lose weight to lose weight you just need to be in calorie deficit and that's it you know it's simple um, you just do that by eating less just just work out how many calories you need to maintain your weight look up online uh, TDEE calculator search it on Google you'll find it easy enough you put in your weight your height your activity level if you're not sure about your activity level just put it on the lower side to be safe but you know it changes like 100 calories or so per activity level um, but you know you need to work out how many calories you need in a day that's that's the most important step you know to losing weight um, in general you need to work out what your maintenance level is um, if you get it wrong then you'll think you're eating below and you're actually eating just exactly what you need and you won't lose anything so that's why I, I always recommend at least 500 calorie deficit and then if you are slightly wrong you still lose weight and then you can across a couple of months you can see how much weight you lose in a week and then you'll know roughly you know working out how many calories um, are in a pound and such you'll know roughly um, you know what your maintenance level is and if you are eating 500 or if your maintenance level is perhaps a bit lower or a bit higher and you're not losing as much as you should be you can adjust it you know but you know <clears throat> with um, you know all, all of these exercises and things it's the effort involved to burn these calories is way more than you know um, just not eating the food um, you know just getting a bit of using a bit of willpower there and just just not eating something because you know it's impossible to to outdo a bad diet with with exercise you know it's impossible if, if you go out and eat you know a, a family sized pizza a kebab um, you know uh, family sized chocolate bar crisp whatever ice cream uh, you know it, it's just going to be thousands of calories and think how much time you're going to have to you know if, if half an hour is 300 I mean even exaggerate it 500 calories is half an hour it's still going to be like you know three hours of running you know to burn off a, you know a large sort of uh, junk food binge or you know if you've gone mad on the on the on the sweets or whatever ice cream um, you know it's just going to be so hard for you to burn that off um, exercising you know you're not going to be able to outdo all of that damage you've done not like not on a regular basis you know um, plus it's not healthy it's not a healthy thing to do you know it's not a good idea to you know um, count how many calories are in a, a couple of cheeseburgers and then you know eat them and then go to the gym and burn off that amount of calories that's not a good mindset to have it's not healthy to do that so um, you know just bear in mind um, before you're thinking about eating something how many how much exercise you'd have to do to burn that off because that's what works for me to be honest with you you know I, I might look at something that I want to eat you know it's uh, a litre of ice cream or something <laughs> um, read the calories on it and think well god I need to then I need to go running for an hour and a half to burn that off um, you know you're not going to do it let's be honest um, even if you enjoy exercise, um, it should just be something that you enjoy and you're doing it for your health. It shouldn't be a reason that you can eat more calories. 
uh, more junk food for example yes you if you're a very very active person you will need more calories um, but you know healthy foods um, you shouldn't do exercise as a reason to you know go out and binge on junk um, it will just it will affect you mentally it will, it, will um, it can lead to problems you know eating disorders and that kind of thing so you know just take into account you know what what you are eating start if you don't know anything about calories um, just download uh, Fit My Fitness Pal. And most, um, you know, pre-packaged foods and things are actually already on there. You know, other people have already put the information on there. So it's easy enough to find what calories are in what. And, you know, the, the, there's no reason. You don't, these, these days you don't need to be checking all the packets y yourself. You know, you can just check on the app quickly. Even if it's a prepared food and you haven't got the calories there, um, you can just search on the app and it will come up with various different what, different options and different calorie counts and you'll get a rough average of what the food probably is from that so you know always you know check check the calories on things and you know just just consider you know how much exercise it will take to burn that off so <clears throat> thanks for watching the video guys i hope this is of uh, some use um i hope this can persuade you you know um to take into account, you know, that the amount of, of uh, calories in certain foods and things, um, you know, to burn such a large amount of calories off, I mean, you know, it's just so much work, so much work. And I'm, I'm not, the, the point of this is not to persuade you not to exercise <laughs> and just, you know, um, and eat nothing. Uh, the point of it is um, to kind of explain to you the amount of, of, of calories in foods and you know if you wanted to burn that off just you know exercising it would take a huge amount of time and you know it's it's easier on a diet uh, mentally just to not eat the food um, that, that's the point of this and if you are someone that, that doesn't really want to exercise I've lost a lot of weight not exercising now I have done a lot of uh, very demanding jobs at this time you know very physical jobs which probably was the equivalent of walking like six hours a day so you know that was my exercise technically um, but I, I, I lost a huge amount of weight uh, not really exercising at all you know I just did intermittent fasting I did do weight training but obviously that doesn't burn out a lot of calories like running and, and or swimming or whatever so I lost probably uh, I, don't know, I changed about four sizes uh, gene sizes not sure of the exact amount of weight that I lost in that in that period, but that was a time that I, I was you know having some problems, and I gained a, a lot of weight very quickly, and then I just wanted to lose it again because I was getting married basically, so I, I got down very very slim, um, and it, and it was no trouble whatsoever. I just did it over the space of six months. I basically went from probably I was probably um, borderline obese. I was definitely hot, quite a bit overweight. And I just went straight back down to very slim, uh, very in shape, uh, six months. And in that time, I can tell you the amount of cardio I did was probably nothing. No, I can't. I can't honestly think of a time that I actually went running or cycling or, or swimming or anything. Um, it was just, you know, the the, uh, the the physical aspect of my job. And, you know, intermittent fasting and, you know, calorie deficit. So, you know, don't worry, uh, if you're just starting out on a diet, don't worry about exercising. Um, you know, don't don't put too much stress on at once. Because it can be hard if you, if you start eating less, and then you go and running for 40 minutes an evening and things. All of this is just, you know, added stress. And and it's, what is going to, what is going to happen is you're just going to break your diet. So start off without exercise, it's not needed, it's not necessary. Um, don't listen to all the people that tell you, oh, you need to go running every every evening. No, you don't. Um, just eat less. Just eat a bit less. Start losing weight. If you get closer to your goal weight and then you can't, then you can put in a bit of exercise. But make it something that you like because then you'll stick with the exercise. You know, if you like playing football, play football. Um, I don't know, if you like just walking and listening to, you know, audio books or whatever, uh, do that. But don't just uh, force yourself to do an exercise that you don't enjoy because you will never ever stick with it. I've tried it myself. I've I worked up to running miles every day, uh, quick speeds as well. I, I was uh, quite good at running, 
but I always hated it, hated every moment of it, so that's why I stopped doing it, and I don't, I don't run now, so, um, just, you know, consider that, guys, uh, thanks for watching, uh, give the video a like, and I'll see you in the next video.